Hey ladies and gents, Billy Donnelly here at This Is Infamous, and today I'm casting my normal pleasantries aside to get right down to business. It's time to review Star Wars The Force Awakens. I know the big question on your mind, how is it? So let's get that out of the way first so you know where this review is heading. Star Wars The Force Awakens is very good and should satisfy fans of the series both new and old. This next chapter in the beloved saga feels much more like a Star Wars movie than anything the prequels ever had to offer, and that right there is a big step in the right direction. With J.J. Abrams taking over the reins from George Lucas and moving the franchise forward, The Force Awakens remembers that a Star Wars movie should be fun and exciting, filled with awe and wonder as it transports the audience to a galaxy far, far away to tell a familiar story of good versus evil. In addition, this episode 7 feels like it happens in a real place, inhabited by characters and creatures that might actually exist. It all comes across as incredibly tactile, aiding in the process of suspending our disbelief and throwing ourselves into this world that's been created. While there are a number of CG elements, they complement the main action rather than distract from it in ways that may take you out of the picture. Without getting into spoiler territory, I believe you'll enjoy your time with the cast, whether it's your old favorites or the new participants in the series. Harrison Ford shrugs off the grumpiness that has seemed to embody far too many of his characters in recent years and eases himself right back into the role of Han Solo like an old man lowering himself into a warm bath. This is the Han Solo we've always embraced, albeit a little wiser and a tad more emotional given what he's seen and been through over the years. His interactions with Chewbacca pop throughout the film and his chemistry with Daisy Ridley's Rey and John Boyega's Finn quickly put to rest any concerns fans might have about how well those newbies integrate into Star Wars as a whole. Daisy Ridley is dynamite as Rey, a scavenger on the newly explored planet of Jakku who, through coincidence in typical Star Wars fashion, is thrown into an intergalactic war. This is a strong female character, a survivor with a great deal of skill who is anything but a damsel in distress, and is a solid piece of foundation on which to build The Force Awakens. And as one of the film's heroes, it's interesting to watch her journey begin as she takes a much different path than that of Luke Skywalker in A New Hope. This is not some whiny kid again, she is a bold woman who is capable of holding her own, and this new Star Wars benefits from that character type. That doesn't mean The Force Awakens isn't without a few rocky spots. Some of the story does feel recycled at times, with the Resistance and the First Order chasing after a common target, and a few of the film's heavier moments don't carry the emotional weight they might have in a different film that didn't need to spend so much time re-establishing the world in which it happens, or these new characters. But I found myself able to look past some of those shortcomings as I had a good time with everything else happening around the movie. The Force Awakens put a smile on my face and filled me with the sense of adventure I got from watching the original trilogy countless times as a kid. It's something old mixing together with something new to make something really good that has me curious to see where the Star Wars saga goes next. Star Wars is back, the right way this time, and I am relieved, and you should be too. This is the Star Wars you've been waiting for for a long time, and now you've got it, so enjoy it. Be sure to like this video down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel as a whole so you can be notified of all new video reviews that hit This Is Infamous. And until next time, may the Force be with you. For This Is Infamous, I'm Billy Donnelly.